Smoking won't be allowed inside public housing here in Knoxville and across the nation starting July 31st. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development first announced the ban back in 2016. Here in East Tennessee, the Knoxville Community Development Corporation oversees about 7,500 of those homes. We want to know how you feel about that smoking ban. You can vote right now at WBIR.com slash vote or select your choice on the WBIR News app. And as you weigh in, 10 News reporter Sean Franklin explains how KCDC plans to enforce the new rule. Robin John, this is going to affect people in Lonsdale Homes, Austin Homes, and Montgomery Village, just to name a few. KCDC Senior VP of Housing says they're hoping to help people quit an unhealthy habit while enforcing the rules. What are they going to say next? Uh, you can't drink a beer in your house? Edward Jones has a lot of questions. He's against the Department of Housing and Urban Development's new policy banning smoking inside public housing. KCDC took it a step further, banning smoking within 25 feet of all of its property. We pretty much have to just go by the rules. If not, you know, you throw us out of the housing. That don't seem fair. So the policy says if you live here in Lonsdale Homes or any of the other public housing facilities here in Knoxville, you'd have to walk off the property 25 feet, which in some cases means walking across the street if you want to have a cigarette. We are trying to look at this as an educational and a health and a safety item that we can do something to benefit all of our residents. KCDC Senior VP of Housing Sean Gilbert says the goal is to help people quit smoking. He says they started letting people know about the changes last year and recently posted notices on doors. You know, a lot of people have thanked us, said, you know, they don't like, you know, especially if you're in a high rise, having to walk through all the smoke to get to their apartment. Gilbert says they won't be installing any devices to enforce the policy. We're not going to go into people's apartments and, you know, beat on doors and go looking for this. We're going to depend on the residents to be do some self-policing. Gilbert says the policy should save taxpayers money in apartment maintenance. Not just for the housing authority, but if people aren't getting lung disease and other things like that, you know, they won't have to use um, the health care system so much. HUD says at least 600 of its more than 3,100 public housing agencies across the country already had smoke-free policies when it announced the rule two years ago. Robin. All right, Sean, thank you. And, of course, we asked you what you thought of the smoking ban, and the vast majority, about 79%, saying you do agree with the ban in public housing.